What's up, hockey fans? I'm Caitlin Lipkin, and welcome to the Youth One Sports Roundup Hockey Game of the Week recap, where, as you know, every episode we bring you highlights and insight into an elite matchup that took place in the world of youth hockey. This week, we're giving props to the girls in the sport. Every year, more and more girls are taking to the ice, and the level of play has been growing to impressive new heights every season. The New Jersey Colonials and Mid-Fairfield Yankees are two clubs who have profited from the sport's growing popularity among female athletes. So when the two teams faced off this week, there were sure to be some fireworks. Let's get to the action at Men in Arena in New Jersey. In the first period, Mid-Fairfield wound up on a power play, but the Colonials showed early how tough their defense was going to be all day, keeping the Yankees out of the net. Breaking that power play showed that sometimes your best offense is a good defense. But minutes later, we saw that most of the time, your best offense is a great offense. With just 30 seconds left in the period, Emma Pulaski and Aaron Dillian play a little give and go and Pulaski puts one in the net to give the Colonials the first lead of the game. Feeling the hot hand, New Jersey was not going to just ride out the first period. Here, it's Pulaski again, putting a shot on net that gets batted around and tipped in by Aaron Dillian, so the score is 2-0 Colonials as we close out the first period. In the second, the first 10 minutes featured more hard-fought, scoreless back-and-forth action until the Colonials took advantage of another scoring opportunity. A shot gets blocked by Courtney Dinot, but Emily Walther is there to put it home for New Jersey, who was looking at a big 3-0 advantage. Late in the second period, Mid-Fairfield was not giving up. Annabelle Nottebaum finds a streaking Paige Lewis on a breakaway, and Lewis makes the most of it with this awesome top-shelf backhander to put her team on the board, down just two goals with the entire third period remaining. In the game's final period, Mid-Fairfield again found themselves with a great power play opportunity, but the Colonials rallied together and fended off the opposing charge. And here was one of the most exciting plays of the game. With under two minutes remaining, Paige Lewis gets hooked to the ice, but manages to get the pass off to Anna Corey, who scores. What an amazing sequence. Great effort and athleticism for these girls, and with under two minutes remaining, it was just a one-goal game. The Colonials again played tough defense in crunch time and got an open net goal to polish off the game as the girls earned a 4-2 win. What a great match. Congratulations to all the players involved, and hey, if you've got a game that deserves to be broken down on our Game of the Week, go to youthone.com and let us know the scoop. That's it for this week's episode of the Youth One Sports Roundup Hockey Game of the Week recap. But be sure to stay logged on to youthone.com, where we're always bringing you the best of youth sports. I'm Caitlin Lipkin. Thanks for watching. <laughs>